let's go and watch how the youth are desperate because of lack of jobs in the country. Yeah, fellow Africans, I salute all. I am Mr. Body, also known as Ghanaba. Yeah, I am a Ghanaian and Africa is born in me. Yeah, today we are going to discuss about youth unemployment rate in Ghana. And don't forget that we are still promoting Eat Africa, Drink Africa, and Wear Africa. And this uh, nice dress was sold by um, Kana Clothing. It is located at uh, the right opposite Nima Police Station, Accra. Um, I was strolling down um, and I saw uh, some people struggling in the queue in front of Ghana Commercial Bank now. GCB and I tried to in, interact with some of them and they told me that they are in a queue going to buy uh, Ghana immigration service forms and others are also going in for uh, Ghana police service forms. In fact, the, 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 the guys and the ladies are desperate. They are desperate for a job and it is too scary talking to them because most of them have uh, completed school. Uh, some are SHS graduates and the rest are also uh, university graduates. Uh, polytechnic uh, graduates are also among them. And in, they have been in house for long. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think we need to have a nice way. We need to be innovative and uh, stop depending on one way of recruiting or providing jobs uh, to our uh, young people in Ghana and Africa at large. Please let's go and watch the video how the, the, the guys were desperate to buy the forms. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 
So that's it. They were desperate to buy the forms, all because they need jobs. And it is it is clear that most of them too will not be selected. Yeah, because uh, there are a lot of people going in with protocols, and even those having protocols are not in the queue. Yeah, that is Africa for you and Ghana for you, whom you know and who knows you. Uh, at first, um. I think the system was considering those who uh, participated or joined a uh, cadet in uh, SHS time and also tertiary time. But now the trend has changed automatically because of partisan politics in the country or in the system in Africa. Uh, please, uh, most of them, the, the people you watch, it is clear that they are not going in with passion. They are just going in for money because they need job to get money to job. For their lives so i don't think they will just get people who are just in uniform and uh, chasing money but not trying to introduce some or portraying or demonstrate some kind of pro professionalism in the service meanwhile it is service ghana police service ghana prison service and ghana immigration service uh, we need to be serious as africans uh, i think we need to introduce um entrepreneurship in our uh, schools it will equip us it will equip us with knowledge and skills so that after school we we'll just create our own world by uh, establishing our own uh, factories yeah it will help us then depend on soldier police prison service immigration service and what have you uh, we only need some uh, few people so what happens to those who will not be selected that is my concern yeah, and it's a it, uh, security threat to the country and Africa at large. So uh, we need to be innovative and introduce entrepreneur entrepreneurship skills in our schools. And that will equip our people, our young people with knowledge and skills. And also uh, it will empower them to create their own world after school. I think uh, this will help us because we have tried our best technology. We can't compete with the Western world. And agriculture is the best for Africa. That is what God gave it to us. So we need to also throw more light on that. Even now, we have even stopped teaching agriculture studies in our basic, uh, our pre uh, teach, uh, level. Yeah, we are not teaching agriculture anymore in our pre tertiary level. And when you come to the SHS level, they have blended with science. And we are not throwing more light on it in terms of teaching and learning. Uh, meanwhile, Agri could help us to create more jobs. So I am urging our leaders that we need to be innovative enough and uh, empower our young people for tomorrow. Uh, I still maintain my name, Mr. Bodhi. This clothes was given to me by Kana Clothing. Uh, I think we need to eat, drink, and wear Africa. Yeah, very soon I will be in uh, Cote d'Ivoire to champion this course. Uh, please, uh, viewers, um, that is it. Let's be on board. We need to get involved and rescue if not there's no future yeah if not there's no future so i am urging you to comment uh like share and subscribe yeah try try your best and subscribe so that you get more uh videos on education and more god bless you bye bye